Marisa unfortunately has to leave us. But I don't know if any of the other speakers uh, wanted to respond to the question that was posed about loneliness. Just some brief reflections, some brief thoughts, please, because we do need to close the session. Well, just to answer, it's true that we set up a lot of projects, very well-intentioned projects, but we often lose our way when we're not listening to the people that we're trying to serve. So I understand what you're saying. It's important to listen to the, el the elderly person, what sort of conditions they want to be cared for and what conditions. This is going to be very enriching and it really needs to be the guiding force uh, for all our interventions. Any other comments or else with this we'll close the session. Now it's evident that I don't work in Osaki Letza, so I can't speak on behalf of that organization, but I agree with what you say. Um, I work from the social side of things more, uh, and we've tried to join social and health together. Now, uh, we have access to the municipal census, so there's privileged information about the situation in which people live. And all local councils are now coming up with a register using the census information, a register of people who live by themselves. And it's a very important tool because it enables you to map different areas, different neighborhoods in which people are alone. So you can help build a community. Because one of the phenomena of uh, loneliness has to do with a reduction of family units and the loss of uh, the primary, what used to be the primary care network, which were the neighbors and people who lived in your local area. So I think that, yes, uh, we have uh, primary care, we have the nursing staff, we have the social services as well. I think if we all get together, we can do very a lot in this area. Now, I'd also like to say that loneliness has an objective uh, aspect as well, but it also has a s subjective aspect. This is what Marie Bell said. You have to talk, you have to listen. So the subjective dimension of loneliness is important and needs to be incorporated as well. We have to encourage people to participate in their local environment, to, to work, to have a greater network. And I think the intergenerational work is very important and is important. It's important the work that you're doing, of course, but intergenerational networks can help mitigate loneliness. And this is something that we have to recover. Thank you very much. And with that, we will conclude this session. I would like to thank our magnificent speakers, all six of them. And uh, thank you to the interpreters as well. And a warm round of applause for all of them, please. All the presentations will be made available on the website, the conference website, once the sessions have concluded. I think probably from Wednesday onwards, all of the presentations will be available on the website. So now, if you have another session to go to, you should go. Otherwise, it's lunchtime. Thank you very much. And a warm round of applause, please.